Hey everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy. Welcome back to Wapiti Wednesday Q and A. Um, <clears throat> tonight I'm uh, going to do something a little bit different. So I, I got in a discussion a few nights ago about open read cow calls, and and really kind of got me thinking um, that that's what I wanted to kind of talk about tonight. So open read cow calls. So the discussion the other night was that open read cow calls. Um, I was being told they're they're not as effective as a diaphragm read, and the diaphragm's a better choice. And I, I feel differently. Um, I think open read cow calls are extremely effective, and you can most certainly do all the cow vocalizations on them. And in reality, if 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 you go and listen to videos on YouTube of actual just cow elk sounds the sound, the volume, the the nasal tone that they have, uh, the bottom end of those cow sounds, honestly, I think are produced better on an open read cow call than what they are on a diaphragm. Now, granted, a diaphragm read does have its advantages because you are completely hands-free. You don't have to hold anything so you can still uh, you know, do your vocalizations, um, especially full draw. I mean, going to be kind of tough if you're at full draw to reach down and uh, grab an open read cow call. So, in that instance, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna tip the tip the scale towards the open read, or, or I mean towards the diaphragm. But as far as an open read goes, the nice thing is is anybody can use it, so you don't have to worry about um, a latex allergy or dentures or dental work or any of these other things that, um, interfere with the ability to use a diaphragm read. So we all know not everybody can use a diaphragm read, but everybody can use an open read cow call. Now, the only question is, is which way works better for you? You can actually put it with the read up to where you control it with your top lip, or turn it down and run it with your bottom lip. Everybody's a little bit different. But as far as the sound, so a basic mew, ah. a chirp, ah. a lost a lost mew, ah. Ah. Uh, if you want to kind of do um, the estrus buzz or the selfish buzz, just add your voice. So you can most certainly do all of the elk vocalizations on an open read. The other nice thing about an open read cow call is the volume. So if you're on a really windy day and you're trying to reach out, you're going to get a lot more volume on an open read. But then you also have the ability that you can close your hand off. <coughs> back your pressures off and get nice and soft. So... Which one is really better, an open read cow call or a diaphragm? It's going to be personal preference. My preference is, I think, as far as <clears throat> most realistic or matching the tonal quality and the sound, I've got to give the edge to an open read cow call. Um, now, there's a lot of different options out there, too, guys. Um, you know, different sizes, different materials. Um, you know, this one right here, this is the Hot Rod Orange from the Heritage Series from Native by Carlton. Um, I will be getting a review done. Uh, they sent me four of them, I think, uh, different styles. But as, as far as tonal quality, um, from what I've seen, acrylic barrels really, to me, have the best sound, the cleanest sound. Um, you know, then it just kind of depends on what vocal range or pitch you guys really like. I prefer a wider read. It kind of gives, to me, kind of a uh, more raspy tone. Um, but the thing with the, the wider reads is they take more pressure to operate than what a narrow read does. Um, you know, you guys, if you, if you really think about it, the, the heritage line comes with more than one read. So you can really tune that read to your style or the tone that, that, you know, you like, and, and I'll kind of go over that in the, in the review. I'm going to film it this weekend. So it'll, it'll go live next week. But, um, so yeah, as, as far as open reads go, I, 
I know everybody's on different levels of budgets. So, um, you know, you could, you could find open read cow calls, 15, $16 all the way up to $200. It just depends on what you want to spend. But the thing is guys, you can do all of the sounds on any of them. You can do the sounds on the $15 ones that you can also do on the $200 ones. The only difference is, is the quality of those tones. But does that mean that you have to buy a $200 open read cow call to go out and kill an elk? Not at all. Um, the $15 ones will, will work just fine. So it's, it's all personal preference. So, so if you guys are sitting there and you're watching YouTube and you're watching some cow vocalization videos, um, just know that, that an open read cow call will be able to produce and mimic all of those sounds. So, all right, guys. So I just want, kind of wanted to come on and just kind of talk about um, open read cow calls real quick. In fact, this year I decided I am going to do, when I'm back as the caller, I'm going to do all my cow vocalizations on an open read cow call this year, just to show that they are effective out there. So, all right, guys, short and sweet tonight. I know it's kind of late. I had a, uh, a couple of lessons tonight, so that kind of put us behind a little bit. So, but appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, you know, we really appreciate the support. So as always, guys, keep calling, keep practicing, but most importantly, have fun. And this coming Friday, we actually have the water filtration video that will go live here on the YouTube channel where we're going to talk about um, different styles of water filters and really discuss uh, advantages of them and, and really figure out which one kind of fits in your style of camping or hunting the best. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week on the next chapter of Wapiti Wednesday Q&A brought to you by Elk Calling Academy. Have a great night, guys.